everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to my prep and pack with me video. Yes, so as I just said, this is my prep and pack with me video to come along on holiday. Well, I'm going to be vlogging the holiday separately. This is just like the pre-video. But yeah, I basically have seen loads of other YouTubers doing this video and I love watching them pack. So I thought you guys might enjoy seeing me pack and seeing what I'm taking with me. Yeah, it's not going to be a long video. It's not going to be that in detail. I just thought I'd show you guys what I'm taking with me, what I like to pack when I go away, any kind of tips that I might have while I'm packing. And yeah, I just thought it might be quite a nice little video for you guys to watch. But I feel like before I get into it, I should probably just put a little disclaimer out. I'm actually not even a disclaimer, just I should let you know. I ain't going on no crazy holiday, okay? I feel like by calling it a holiday, I'm making it sound like I'm off on some sort of party holiday in Ibiza or some kind of influencer trip into like Mykonos, which I've been seeing so many influencers go on. That is exactly not what I'm going on. I'm literally going to Edinburgh for a week or with my family on just like a little staycation. We're staying in a hotel. Um, the hotel's got like a pool and stuff. So we also have that element of like a holiday. But yeah, I'm not going anywhere crazy. The weather will just be like UK weather. And actually, I think in Scotland, there are still some like COVID restrictions in terms of like masks and things. So yeah, I'm not going anywhere crazy, but it's still a holiday to me. Like it's probably one of the only holidays I'll go on this year, just with all of the changes going on in my life at the minute, with me moving to London and yeah, all of that, my new job. So this is like the holiday and especially it's the only holiday I'm probably gonna go on with my family. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd film this video, even if you guys don't like watching it, it's probably a nice thing for me to have documented anyway. So as I said, I will be vlogging the trip as well. So that vlog will be to come after this video. But yeah, I just thought, like I said, it'd be a nice little video to see you guys, for you guys to see me packing, I hope. Anyway, if it's not, then please do let me know because if I go on any future trips and you guys like this video, then I can film them again. But obviously if you don't, then tell me and I will not film any more for you guys. But yeah, I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get straight into the video. Okay, so obviously you can't film a prep and pack with me video without the fundamental piece of a holiday which is a suitcase so I basically used to have like a small silver like cabin case which I would take on a trip like this which is like in the UK we're going in the car so we can't really take too much um but basically the, there's like a mystery around this suitcase we don't actually know what happened to it or like where it went me and my little sister have matching so she had like a rose gold one which she still has and I had a silver one but between me moving from my Nottingham house which is obviously where I was for uni to my placement house in London, to moving back to Nottingham, to moving home, that suitcase has completely disappeared. I, we have a feeling that it like broke some for some reason, or like the zip came off because I'm an overpacker. That's probably the first thing I should say, like I take so much. I'm such a what if packer. Like I'm like, what if I need this? Or what if I need that? Or what if it's hot? What if it's cold? Like, especially when you go in the UK, I feel like you can never really be too sure. Like the weather's even meant to be nice when we go this week, um, but who knows it could be raining and it could be freezing so I feel like I need to cover all bases but yeah back to that suitcase I think I overpacked it and I think the zip broke so that's why we got rid of it but nobody remembers actually getting rid of it so we're not too sure whether it's gone or whether it's just yeah disappeared but anyway that brings me on to the first thing that I actually bought for this video which is a new suitcase which I actually really like this suitcase so this suitcase is from Primark it's obviously bigger than a cabin case if I can even get it in the screen um I feel like the cabin cases are just really excessively small um, and obviously where I'm not actually going on an aeroplane I don't need to stick to any restrictions because we're going in the car so I've got this one it's like a hard shell and it's got this like line detail on it here like I said it was from Primark I think it was either £30 or £35 which for a suitcase is really affordable I love going to Primark for suitcases because I think they are actually really good quality and yeah like I said they're really affordable which is one of the first things. So this is the case I'm going to be taking with me. I also like to take a case that is a little bit bigger because you can fit everything in it. I like to have like my shoes, my toiletries. I like like take obviously my electrical equipment with me. So I like to have that in here. Um, whether it's if I take a smaller case, I just end up taking just as many like hand ba handheld bags. So it's better to just take a bigger suitcase and not take 50,000 bags and a small suitcase. So that's my method of thinking here. So that is why my suitcase is slightly excessive, but I am going for a week, like I said, so I will need enough clothes to last me a week. And yeah, there's a pool, so I'm gonna need swimming stuff. There's also a gym there. There's like lo uh, different leisure facilities as a gym. So I think we're planning to use the gym while we're there. So I'm obviously gonna take some gym stuff with me as well. 
But yeah, so that was the first thing I picked up from Primark. And then while I was there, I did actually pick up some other bits. So I thought I would show you those at the beginning of this video as well. So I actually got these like toiletry bags. Um, let me just grab them there down here. So basically they come as a pack of three. So this is like the biggest one that you get. So it's just a black, glitchy, clear toiletry bag. It's actually a little bit dirty because I just went to Manchester the weekend gone and I used these for that. I used the suitcase as well. That's why it looks a bit, well, it doesn't even look used, but the wheels are basically a bit dirty because it was pouring with rain when we went to Manchester. So yeah, got that. And then it comes with two smaller ones. So like they come like inside the big one, basically. They all fit inside each other. So yeah, they're just really handy to have when you go away. That's like a tip for me. If you don't have like toiletry bags like this, then I would recommend getting them. This big one's obviously good for your bigger toiletries. So like body lotion, hairspray, like the taller bottles fit in there. I tend to use like all my everyday toiletries in this bigger one just because obviously it fits everything in. Then my medium size one, when I went to Manchester, I put like my toothbrush, my shaving, razor, my trimmer and my mouthwash in this one. Um, so that's quite good for that. And then this little one, I actually put cables in it when I went to Manchester because I have a separate like kind of toiletry bag which has all of my electrical stuff in. But where I wasn't taking obviously like my laptop or my camera or anything like that to Manchester, I didn't need all of that. So I just took my iPod charger and my phone charger in this one. But I am taking my laptop with me to Edinburgh just because where I'm going to be vlogging, I like to offload the clips so I can keep my memory card clear. Um, so yeah, this will probably have jewellery in it just because I think it's a good size for that. So obviously I wear all my rings, my necklace. I have this watch, but I also take another watch with me. So that can go in here. So it kind of just keeps everything together and stops anything getting lost. So yeah, but obviously you can use that for everything, anything you want really. Um, but that's just what I'll probably be using that for, which you guys will see in this video. And yes, the final thing that I got from Primark is the socks because you can't go to Primark and not buy socks. So yeah. But that's everything that I bought from Primark. That's my suitcase, that's my toiletry bags. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna kind of lay everything out, show you guys what I'm taking with me. And then I'm not gonna show you me actually packing it into the suitcase because that's just gonna be a very long process and probably very boring to watch. I feel like even if I time-lapse it, it would still be extremely boring. So um, I probably won't show you that. But the kind of prep part of this video, I ordered a load of new things from various different places as well. I ordered some stuff from ASOS and then I got a few things from Amazon Fashion. I got a few bits from TK Maxx and then I've been sent like a load of PR stuff for brands that I'm working with that I need to shoot content for. So I'm going to take some of that with me. So what I'm going to do is for the prep part, I'm going to show you all of those things that I bought. So it's kind of going to be like a mini haul and then I will show you the packing. But yeah, let's cut to the clip of me showing you everything new that I bought and the clip is still me sat here so I decided I would stay here and show you everything that I bought just because it's a probably a little bit easier for me to do that and then I will go to me packing and showing you my suitcase and how I'm going to put everything in and everything that I'm going to take with me but yeah this is just going to be like a super super quick haul I'm hoping although every time I say I'm going to do something super sick super sick super quick it ends up being very long so here I am still rambling anyway so the first thing I got was these sliders so these are actually Yeezy dupes and I can't lie, they, they, yeah, they're not easy. Um, they're very good dupes. So if you are in the market for a dupe, then definitely check out this place where I got them from. They're from Amazon Fashion, more they're from like a seller on Amazon, basically. Um, I can't lie, they took the longest time to come. They literally arrived today. I wasn't even gonna end up take, I thought I wasn't gonna end up taking them because they hadn't come, but they are here now. So I will be taking these. Great for around the pool. I will be wearing these like in the car tomorrow, just with like a travel set. I've got like a hoodie and shorts, which is already up on my Instagram, which I can leave in the description box. And if you don't follow me, follow me, um, come and join me over there. But yeah, these are just really comfy, really easy to wear. Um, I did actually want to buy the easy ones and I looked at it for so long and I looked on places like Collect and StockX to get some. And they're just like 200 odd pounds, especially because obviously where I've got like, men's feet they're bigger so they charge more i don't really know why probably because it's obviously more material but yeah i wasn't really prepared to pay like 250 pounds for some sliders that i'm not even a massive slider wearer i just really like the style of these so i didn't really want to pay that much money so the fact that they had these dupes was good for me so yeah i did get them from amazon if you guys are in the market it's a great place to check out next thing i got was these are kind of random bits that i got that i'm starting with before i actually show you 
all of the clothing bits. But the next thing I got was this spray from TK Maxx. I literally got this yesterday as well because I went home shopping for my new apartment, but that is to come in another video. <laughs> um, but yeah, they had these fragrances for really affordable prices actually. So I got this one, which is the Davidoff Brilliant Game Aftershave. Um, yeah, it was literally only £15 for a 100ml bottle and it smells really, really good. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. I kind of use sprays excessively in all of my collection, like I run out so fast. So even all of these, like they're all empty pretty much. So um, yeah, I definitely needed a new one, especially where I'm going away. And obviously we're going to be going out in the evenings and going for dinner. It's just nice to have a scent that is really nice. And it also means I won't be robbing my dad's because they always kick off that I steal all of his all the time. So yes, that was the next thing that I got. Moving on to things that I bought clothing wise. So I did a massive shop on ASOS and I also did a shop on Mania de Foire, which is somewhere I've never actually shopped before, but they had some really cool stuff and I've seen a few influencers wearing some bits from there. So I got a really cool t-shirt from there. I'm not gonna lie, it's a little bit pricey. Um, so you obviously you have to really like the items if you wanna shop on there because like I said, you're gonna spend a lot of money. But yeah, the t-shirt I got was this one, which I really, really like. It's very, it's not different. It's kind of is different from my style, but it's also quite, normal to my style i like this kind of print i like this kind of fit um but yeah it's the only thing that i guess is different is like these tassily bits that are like around the neckline and they also have it on the print obviously down here but yeah and the quality is insane like it's a stretchy thick material so it's definitely worth the money but obviously like i said it's pricier than most places um i got this in a medium as well if you wanted to know for size reference and it fits really really well I also like that the sleeves aren't like baggy on that. You know how like on this t-shirt the sleeves are like baggy. These are like fitted really well down the arm, which is always a good thing. Okay, I feel like I'm talking really, really fast because I'm trying to <laughs> speed through everything that I've got because I don't want to bore you guys to death. But yes, so on to ASOS. But there's like different brands in this, but they're all they are all from ASOS. So I got this t-shirt from a, like I said, ASOS, but it's actually Bershka. And it's a similar vibe to that one from Manier de Bois, to be fair. It's like that line design style. Obviously it just says louder. Um, and it goes like that, that at the bottom. And yeah, just a simple black t-shirt, but I always like those like kind of cool designs on them just to give it a bit more. So that's just another top that I got. Next up, I got some shirts. Um, I really like like a boxy fit shirt just over like a plain white t-shirt and some jeans just to add like another dimension to an outfit especially obviously where you're going out in the evenings you're going for dinner or going out for drinks I don't know um, these are really cool so I got this one which is like a, almost a wool check shirt like a flannel shirt but it's obviously short sleeved and it's like I said a boxy fit um, really nice colour goes really nice with both black jeans and blue jeans, white t-shirt, black t-shirt. So it's a great piece if you wanna like invest in one item that you can wear with various different outfits. So yeah, really happy with that. Great to just throw on, like I said, last minute. And then another shirt that I got, which I am, um, like this is my favorite out of the two, um, but it's also more expensive out of the two, is this one, which is a Tommy Hilfiger like work shirt i think it's called on the website so again it's from asos but it is tommy and yeah it's actually tommy jeans um and it says tommy jeans on the back and the fit of it is really really nice obviously you can wear it with denim jeans if you want to go for like a double denim vibe but i have worn this with black jeans and a black t-shirt and it looks really nice both ways so however you want to style it really and then Moving on to jeans, which is the next thing that I got. So these are the black jeans that I actually wore with that shirt. So I think in an ASOS haul a while ago on my channel, I bought some really light wash, oh well, they, I think they gifted them to me, some really light wash blue denim straight leg jeans. And they're almost like too long for me, so they really gather at the bottom. But I like the fit of them, and I like how they sit when I wear them just with like an Air Force or any kind of trainer, really. So I tried to find those jeans in different colours if that makes sense and my mission was successful because I found them in black so they're just an ASOS design jean they're no brand or anything but when I tell you the quality of the denim is really really good and the fit is really nice as well so I just go like normal size and yeah they fit really well I get a 32 waist 32 leg and yeah that's kind of the fit of them um there'll be pictures on my Instagram so if you want to see how they are kind of on then come and follow me over there and you'll be able to see them in various different pictures because I will be wearing them 
a lot. So yeah. And then, like I said, I wanted to see if I could get them in any more colours because I've obviously got a lot of blue jeans. Don't really have many black jeans. So really pleased with them. And then I also got them in white. Now I'm not really a white jean where I've never really owned white jeans before and I feel like white skinny jeans were never really my vibe but now that we're kind of into these loose style jeans I thought I'd give them a go so they're literally the same fit as those light blue ones that I have and the black ones that I just showed you but just in white so I already know I like the fit which is a good thing and that's kind of why I thought I'd give it a go um and yeah obviously I think they're definitely more of a summer jean and where we're getting to the end of summer don't know if I'll get as much wear out of them, but jeans never really go out of style. It's only kind of other clothes that go out of style. So I feel like your jeans, you're always going to have. So yeah, and they were very inexpensive. Those jeans, I think, are about 25 or 28 pounds, which for a good pair of jeans, it's going to last you a long time. It's a good price to pay, really. And then the final item of clothing that I bought from ASOS was just some swimming shorts. So I got these just black swimming shorts and they are from the brand Collusion. Um, I feel like Collusion is one of the best brands or like concessions, is it, on ASOS? Um, they do really, really good quality things. And I just saw that they had some plain black swimming trunks. And obviously where there's a pool at the hotel, I thought I would get those. So that's kind of everything that I bought. And then I did get sent some pieces that I'm going to shoot. But I've decided this clip's already eight minutes long. You're going to see them on my Instagram anyway, because I have to shoot them for content. So I'm not going to show you guys those pieces. But as I've said with other things in this video, if you want to see how I style them up or everything that I got, then come and follow me over on Instagram because I will be styling it and posting it on there. But yeah, this is an eight minute clip. I'm going to stop talking now and I'm actually going to get some packing done. So I will switch you guys on when I've kind of organised my mess into an organised Yes. Okay, so I've just switched the camera on because I thought I'd give you a little update of where I am at with my packing. Please excuse all of that mess, that stuff that's coming with me when I move. My room is genuinely a tip. But yeah, this is my bed. I've kind of just laid everything out here. So I've currently packed half of my stuff. So this is literally just underwear and socks. That's gym stuff, swim stuff. And then I've kind of kept this half free for my toiletry bag. So I've just put them in empty for now because I will pack all of my toiletries in the morning. I'll probably put a clip in tomorrow morning when this is fully complete just so you guys can see how I packed those just because I might be of interest and then yeah I basically just laid everything else out here so I know I said I was going to wear those slides in the car but basically I have got this outfit out here which I think is what I'm going to wear with me just because I need to shoot a reel for this jumper and this brand Goose and Gander so I'm thinking I might shoot like a little come away with me kind of staycation video wearing that. So I think I'm going to wear it as my travel outfit with those blue jeans, which are the ones I was talking about from ASOS, which are the like first pair that I got. I've then just got shorts here because the weather's meant to be kind of hot, but obviously it is the UK, so who knows? Uh, I then got joggers just because like in the hotel room to chill, the joggers, sorry, I've got my light on so things are just a bit brighter so that's what that is um i've then just got a load of t-shirts here some jumpers here the shirts i showed you and then my jeans so yeah i'm just kind of trying to decide what i want to take with me i feel like a good way to pack is to like plan what's going to go with what what you're doing and what kind of outfits you can wear for each thing so like i know we're going to a distillery one day we're going to the zoo another day so i'm trying to just plan what i can wear to each of those things so yeah that's a little tip if you are going away and you kind of obviously have to fit everything in one case, just plan what you're doing and then plan the outfits that you're going to wear to those things so that you kind of know what you're taking and what you're going to be wearing so you don't have to pack loads of things. My only issue with those sliders is I wanted to put them in here, but where they are literally like the sturdiest foam you'll ever find in your life, they won't fit in here without taking too much space. So even though I said I'm not going to take 50,000 bags with me, I think I am going to take them separately in a bag. I am going to wear my white Air Force with this outfit. So that's another pair of shoes with me. And then I've not yet decided what other trainers I want to take. My Jordans and everything are like down there. So I need to have a look and see what will go with what I'm taking. But yeah, still trying to decide. I feel like another tip is always taking a clean white pair of trainers because they go with everything. And yeah, so I'm going to switch you guys off now. And hopefully the next time you see this suitcase will be full and I will be ready to go. Okay, so I've just finished packing. Anyone that thinks packing is quick and easy, 
is a liar. It took me so long. It's a lot later than you've just last seen me. But I finally packed everything that I'm pretty much I'm going to take, apart from the things that I'm going to add in, obviously, in the morning, which is like toiletries that I need to use, razor, shaver, toothbrush, things like that. But pretty much all of the clothes are packed. So my suitcase is actually down here. Please excuse all of that, but it's down here. Um, I will obviously flip the camera and just give you a better view of it. Like I said, I will switch the camera on in the morning and show you once all of the toiletries are in and how I filled those toiletry bags. But yeah, that is basically this video complete. But let me quickly show you my suitcase, my outfit, and then I will do my outro. Okay, so this is the final suitcase. I, like I said earlier, I have gym stuff down here. I have pajamas, I have boxes, I have socks. My toiletries will go here. I also just have some like chill clothes for when we're in the hotel room. And then if you flip this over, which obviously this will get zipped up, on this side is literally all of my clothes. So I've got everything that I showed you earlier in that little haul. I've got my shirts, I've got t-shirts, I've got a couple of cohorts that I bought like previously and I've had in my wardrobe, so I've packed those. I've got my jeans at the bottom and a couple of jumpers as well. And then my outfits are here. So if I come around this way, so basically I can't decide between these two outfits. Basically, this is a jumper, like I said, that I need to shoot and I'm going to wear it with these jeans. So I was going to take that to wear, but now I want to wear this and these because I think it would just be a bit comfier to travel in. So I'm thinking maybe I just film the beginning of the reel wearing this, pack it in my case and then finish the reel when I get there. And then I actually wear this, which is just a little shorts set. Um, and hoodie with those sliders and some socks from Boohoo. So yeah, not yet decided which one I'm going to wear, but when I film in the morning, I will obviously have my outfit on. So I'll be able to show you guys what I'm wearing. And, and yeah, that is the suitcase for now. Good morning, everyone. I hope you're all well. So it's actually nearly time to leave. It's about, I want to say quarter past 10, and we're aiming to leave for about half 10. Well, between half 10 and 11. So we're on track to leave. I am almost ready to go. I'm not actually wearing this outfit. Um, obviously, earlier in this video, you would have seen that I was debating between two outfits, but I kind of shot the pre bit of this reel that I needed to shoot first, like last night, and then I'm going to shoot the rest when I'm actually away. So I just need to shoot one more clip of the reel now this morning. So that's what I'm going to do, hence why I've got this on. But I'm actually going to wear the other outfit, which if you want to see the full fit, then watch my next video which will be the vlog of this trip and I will start off by showing you what I'm wearing um but yeah basically I've just packed everything that I need needed to pack this morning so like my hairdryer all of my other electricals and pretty much just all of my toiletries I haven't actually put them in the suitcase yet but I thought I would just show you my little toiletry bags what I've packed what I'm taking how I've packed it um and then I will just yeah pack it all into my suitcase and get going so I'll quickly show you that and then I know I said yesterday that I'd do my outro which was obviously a lie because I forgot that I was going to do this clip this morning so I will show you what I've packed and then I will do my outro. Okay so here are all of my toiletry bags so this is the little one it's currently only got my Clouse watch in it because obviously I wear pretty much all of my um jewellery so it's only really if I'm not wearing it that I would put it in there but I'm still going to take it anyway just in case. I've then got my medium toiletry bag which has my mouthwash, my razors, I use these razor razors razors sorry from harry's i really recommend them and then yeah just my i think it's a phillips trimmer and then i've just got all of my everyday toiletries in there so some heat protect spray some aftershave hairspray hairbrush some zara like everyday spray deodorant face cream hair stuff um and then yeah i've got body cream which is obviously huge i get these from tk maxx because they're just so affordable i don't know if i've still got the tag on this yeah i have see it's 5.99 and you get that entire bottle so yeah if you're looking for a moisturizer definitely head to tk maxx um i've then got this guess one which i mentioned yesterday i have a pouch for all of my electrical like cables and anything that i kind of need for my camera so that's all in here so that's also going to come with me and then I've just got my hairdryer because I'm taking, we're just taking one like collectively. So I'm going to take mine. And then I have my laptop and my iPad, which obviously I need my laptop, like I said, to offload vlog clips and kind of get ahead of my editing. And then my iPad, I just like to have in case I want to watch everything. Um, obviously, Love Island is still on while we're away. So I probably will be catching up on that like as and when I can. So yeah, that's kind of everything that I needed to pack this morning that I'm now gonna just pop into the suitcase, which is sat over there. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. So yeah. 
Okay, so that brings me to the end of my prep and pack with me video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Like I said, this is the first one I filmed. And the only reason I did film it is because I enjoy watching them. I know it's probably not been the most exciting video that I've ever created, but I feel like this is like my practice run. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Obviously, please be nice. If you, but if you don't like it and you don't like these videos, then also do let me know, just be polite about it. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much all that is to say for this video. It was just a little one just to show you what I was packing and taking with me before I actually put out my holiday vlog, which I'm super excited to be filming. I haven't vlogged for such a long time and I will appreciate the practice of vlogging. So um, yes, I'm looking forward to sharing that vlog with you guys. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you aren't already so you will see that video and hit the bell for notifications. If you did enjoy this video, then please give it a thumbs up. And yeah, that's all that's left to say. Thank you for so much for watching and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye.